pain, distraught, and regret. These words summed up the reaction of former CEO of Capital Bank, William Atuasian. Although partially masked with the aid of a face mask, his countenance was telling after Justice Eriche Bafo read out the judgment against him. After pleading guilty to 16 counts of stealing and money laundering, Atu Asian entered a plea bargain with the state under Section 357 of the Court Act 459. He was to pay 19 million Ghana cities, but paid 30 million on December 1, 2022. As part of the agreement, the former Capital Bank CEO was to pay the remaining 60 million Ghana cities in tranches in 2023. 20 million Ghana cities by April 28, another 20 million cities by August 31, and finally 20 million cities by December 15, 2023. The court cautioned him that failure to meet any of the deadlines would result in a custodial sentence. However, by April 28, Atu Asian had only raised 4 million cities and another 3 million by October 12. Justice Che Balfour's patience had grown thin after lawyers for Atu Asian pleaded for an additional six months when the case was called on Thursday. He noted that he had hoped the convict would take advantage of the long break to raise the remainder of the money. Prosecution filed a motion to impose custodial sentence after it became apparent that the convicts would not be able to pay the remaining 53 million cities. Justice Eric Chebafo described William Atu Asian's offenses as grave, something that had resulted in several customers of the defunct capital bank losing their jobs some of whom were still looking for employment today. Reading his judgment, the presiding judge sentenced Atu Asian to 95 years in prison and hard labor for the 16 counts of stealing and money laundering. The terms will however run concurrently, hence he is to spend 15 years in jail. Lodi Rasari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.